freaky babies and welcome back to another clean with me or should i say welcome back to another clean with your girl brooke kennedy it's finally a new season and the spring is here which has motivated me to get my home back together with a long overdue refresh i really hope you guys enjoy today's video and i hope it gives you a little bit of motivation to get your spaces in order as well so either sit back and relax or pop your girl up on your tv screen your phones or your laptops and get active as well with me last if you're new here make sure to hit that subscribe button and join the brookie baby gang let's get it all right babe so let's go ahead and get straight into it so as always or in majority of my cleaning videos the reset videos i always start off by stripping the bed completely usually i'm always either stripping the beds getting ready to put the sheets and the comforters in the washing machine or if the sheets and comforters are already clean i'm gonna go ahead and start separating the clothes putting them in their color coordinated piles and getting ready to begin laundry. This right here just makes everything easier because as you're cleaning, you're just having to pop in and out of the laundry room, swapping clothes over from the washer into the dryer. And then usually by the end of the day, you're pretty much done washing all of the clothes and you can decide depending on how you feel, if you want to go in and try to get everything fold and put away, or you can save that for a later day and that be the only thing left that you have to do so. For me on this particular go around, I had to strip every bed in the house. I had just recently had a girls night and I had some friends and family spend the night. So I had to strip all of the beds, which you will see in a little bit. I had a lot of clothes that I needed to wash. So I knew that this was gonna be the first thing for sure that I did for this video. And like I say, it makes things seem like it's going more seamless and easy and you're able to knock out something that kind of cleans itself if you will while you're doing other things so as you guys can see i completed all of that and then i just went in and started doing a refresh in my bedroom i don't do this on every clean with me but i kind of wanted to do a little deep clean here and there so you guys will see me wiping down all of the furniture in the bedroom giving that a nice refresh i'm getting ready to decorate this space i can't wait um if you have any ideas any color suggestions i'm always open to hearing you guys suggestions but you also are going to see you guys things look clean i know i always say that in majority of my cleaning videos or the videos where i'm resetting listen this is not my my clean with me's or my reset videos you're not going to see like those crazy transformations where my house is just always in a wreck right because I'm one of those people where I cannot function if my house is like just all over the place. But sometimes I do fall behind. So it looks clean, but you guys will see in a little bit. I'm going to show you that paper towel and girl, the house, some of the parts, some places in the house are dirty. You will see throughout the video, like these windows, I have not wiped down these windows since we moved in this house and we've been here about a year and a couple months now. So I was like, yeah, let me do a little spring deep clean here and there, jam out and let you guys just see when I wipe it out. Look at that, mm -hmm. nasty. Girl, wipe down those windows and that furniture, that TV, everything, everything. To the master bathroom as you all saw i cleared out the bathroom mats took everything off of the counters and then i'm gonna go in and start using my vacuum 
I will link this one below because if you're new here, you're probably going to ask about it. If you're an OG, then you know about it, but you still may not have gotten your hands on this one. And girl, this is not sponsored. This is just how much I have love or have been loving this vacuum. But I like to get everything off of the floor because as you're cleaning the sink and the shower, you're going to get a little bit of water driplets here and there and trying to clean up afterwards that floor and that hair mixed together uh-uh it's like oil and water girl it does not work it it just looks horrible and i don't know that's just my process so i like to get that up and then i always start off with the shower and i know a lot of people hate cleaning the shower sometimes because honestly it is a lot of work i mean you got to scrub you got to bend down you <sighs> girl it's a whole workout but um i found an easier process this spin brush from amazon is everything i highly suggest you grabbing one i know it's mixed reviews some people don't like it some people feel like no nah, it ain't cleaning good enough for me some people like the old school way and i always say do what works for you but baby i am five nine and i'm only getting older and these knees they getting i ain't got to make the stallion knees like that you know what i'm saying i don't know what sis be doing but i'm gonna find out girl i be needing to save my back and my knees so this little brush it comes in handy i'll have it linked below as well it comes with different um attachment heads as well so yeah highly highly recommend and i always get questions as well i think i showed what i use i like to try to include that as well just in case you know some people want to try out the products i use but highly recommend like the lysol mold and mildew cleaner um i use some comet especially for the floor of the shower and then as far as like the door i'll spray a little bit of that lysol as well as the method shower door cleaner i absolutely love that stuff so those are like my three top products and i am planning on switching out the shower head for the one that comes with like the little detachable spray head just to make it easier for when i'm cleaning my shower because honestly i don't need it for my body but when it comes to cleaning i know it's going to come in handy for sure <laughs> <laughs> oh also to add if you're new here we do not and i say that very loudly we do not do boring resets we don't do boring clean with me's your girl has a time when she is cleaning okay this actually makes me enjoy the process a whole lot more so girl turn you on some music and have you a good time sing your favorite songs and clean your hair okay Okay, babes, now trust me when I say you need this cleaning brush right here. This is the Rubbermaid Reveal Power Scrubber. You can get this off of Amazon or you can get this from like Target. Y'all, this device has been a game changer at removing all of that residue of the oils from our hands, the residue from products, just bacteria that kind of builds up over time. This gets everything squeaky clean, so I highly recommend. Then I normally just go over with a disinfectant wipe and pour a little pine saw down all of the drains, and this will just give your bathroom that fresh, clean smell. If you know what I'm talking about, like when you go into a bathroom sometimes, it's clean, but you just smell like dirty pipes i don't know how to explain it but it just doesn't give you that full fresh smell so girl just grab one of your favorite bathroom multi-purpose liquid cleaners pour a little bit down those drains and thank me later because it's gonna smell amazing and then in conjunction with all the cleaning i'm just gonna hit these cabinets as well as the windows and the bathroom definitely was not done because we got to get one of the most nastiest things which is the toilet and i had a whole nother bathroom to go to after this one which was the guest bathroom upstairs and the one downstairs but yeah y'all see me cleaning the toilet which is ew like ew 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 i hate cleaning a toilet oh my gosh but we gotta get it done gotta get down there 
wipe it from the top to the bottom. Gotta make sure you're getting down there around that towel or your flooring. And yeah, we don't wanna miss anything. I also picked up the disposable toilet ones. I haven't used it yet, but I did take some of your recommendations. I'm definitely gonna be trying those out. My plan is to completely get rid of the bathroom, like scrubbing brushes that you just kind of store back in their place after you use it. I just, I wanna get rid of those. I just feel like there's not a way to really, really, really get them clean all the way. Yes, you can put it in the toilet, pour some Clorox on it, but I really hope I like the disposable ones. So I'll keep you updated. And if you have used them, let me know in the comment section, is it worth it? Are you enjoying them? Or are you going back to the old traditional way of just using the scrubbers that come with like the little plunger as well? Let me know, girl. you on to another little trick or a little thing I love to do y'all grab your favorite room fragrance spray this is one of my favorites this is by hearth and hand and spray your shower curtain in your bathrooms the ones that have it because some of us have shower doors like my master bathroom but spray that shower curtain make sure you're taking those down and putting them in the washing machine from time to time as well and replacing like the shower liner but I promise you, your bathroom will smell amazing. It will stick. You can even use Febreze. I change them out. I do one or the other every time I clean, but it has also been a game changer and it keeps your bathroom smelling amazing. For one, my guest room bathroom always smells pretty good because it's barely ever used. But yeah, that's just one of my little tricks. And then as you guys can see, I'm always gonna use some of my carpet freshener. I do have a fur baby, so I like to keep the room fresh. Not that she smells, but you know, when our puppies or our dogs go in and out and use the bathroom, they can come in and smell a little fresh. So this is something that I always do to get the job done and to also have the upstairs smelling amazing. And I do use a little bit downstairs on the um, living room rug as well. So I showed that, so definitely screenshot it and try it out as well. I love that brand. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but like I said, you guys saw it. And look at Layla. She wanted to tell her aunties and uncles, sisters and brothers, cousin, hello. That's my little girl. What's up, mama? <laughs> no competition, you be a better hoe. I ain't get money, but I can't tell a hoe. Yeah, I'm over being with the gangsters and players. My folks don't keep it silent. Yeah. Okay, you guys, so while I'm downstairs cleaning the half bathroom, I just wanted to pop in and give a little update. So if you watched my last vlog, you guys know I hung up some pictures in this bathroom and I was talking about a change that is coming. So a lot of you hit the nail on the hammer. I am planning on changing out all of the mirrors in the bathrooms in the home. I am thinking more of a mirror that has a black trim, one that's a little bit more sleek and thin. 
um, just to give it more of that modern look. I like this mirror, it's okay, but I don't feel like it matches the vibe of my home. It's giving more farmhouse in my opinion. So just want to let you guys know you were right. If you guessed that I will be changing out the mirror, yes, I will be doing that. A lot of you recommended or thought that I was planning on painting the wall black. I never thought about that. I kind of don't want to do that. I like that I did paint the wall black in my office, which I am still working on that. And I will be planning to get that reveal out very soon. But I kind of am a little hesitant or scared. I don't want to darken up the place too much. Y'all know I love black. Black is my favorite color. But I just don't want to go too overboard. So some of you have been sending me some inspo. If I did it, it will be more of an accent wall and not just a flat black wall, if that makes sense. But I don't know. I don't know. Just stay tuned. And a lot of you asked about the towels in this bathroom. The hand towels are the decorative towels. Those are from Target. I've been trying to find them so I can link them for you, but they are from Target. I love the little design on them. So check out your local Target to see if you can find them. I also may be switching those out to something a little bit more darker to give the bathroom a little bit more warmth to go with the pictures that I added as well. I'm not sure about that. Or I just may completely switch out and remove the towel rack. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I am working on it because something about this bathroom still, I still, I still don't love it yet. I like it but I just don't love it. So I guess that's just the fun part about being a girl that loves to decorate and change up things in your home. You can take your time and do whatever you want to do. Tell me why you're crying, how can it be, girl? Okay, so now we're getting back into dusting and cleaning up areas that always look put together, but they can be dirty because of the dust that falls and sits on them. So it was long overdue. I haven't really wiped down these cabinets since I decorated for Christmas or after Christmas when I did a quick little reset. So these were basically filthy, if I'm going to be honest. So I took everything off except the lamps because I was being lazy, didn't feel like unplugging them. And I gave everything a wipe down in the living room from the cabinets beside the fireplace to the coffee table, which you guys will see in a little bit. And I also went in and wiped down all of the windows downstairs. I was so shocked at how much dust was sitting on the windows that you just cannot physically see unless you're up really, really close. It was, it was long overdue. Like I told y'all in the beginning of the video, I have not wiped down the windows since I moved in. I've never wiped down the windows. I don't even think we wiped them down when we moved in. I know, right? We clean. We clean the house, but I'm just going to always keep it real. Girl, that's a lot of work. After this clean with me, your girl was tired. So I definitely had to hit the living room. Um, this is where we spent a lot, a lot of time. So yeah, I wanted to give everything a good wipe down. The coffee table is always a must because... Like anybody that has a living room and you spend a lot of time in there, we use our coffee table a lot. Whether it's just a wine cup, a water bottle, the remote, everything needs to be wiped down. And don't pressure yourself to try to get all of this done in one day or one clean with me. It's so much stuff I could have or needed to touch, but it's, it's just hard. I'm a one woman, okay? I'm one woman trying to do it all. But pats on the back for just getting up and getting started. And that is the motivational tip that I leave to my brookie babies, okay? Clean your house how you want to clean your house and do what you can. And don't feel pressure to do it all because we cannot do it all. That's why we take it one step at a time, one day at a time, and we do what we can. So pat on the back to you, sis. For getting up and doing what you can whether you just woke up today and decided to only clean your bedroom you did something you got active and you took care of the place that the good lord has blessed you with okay can i get a hallelujah or amen <laughs>
Let me just tell you girl at this point i was so happy this is about to wrap up our first day of cleaning girl the sheets were done they were dry they smell amazing i made this bed and yeah after this when i tell you i took me a good shower ate me a yummy delicious meal and probably went to sleep i can't even remember what i did after i ate but i know it was relaxed and I felt good, girl, because my house was pretty much clean. All I had to do was touch the kitchen, and we are going to get into that in a second. All right, so let's get into day number two. Now, if you ask me, what is one other thing that I hate to clean out besides cleaning the toilets? It is going to be the refrigerator every single time. For one, I gotta go through. I gotta read all the expiration dates. I have to throw away things. I have to take everything out. Then you have to wipe it down. You gotta clean the containers that hold like your vegetables and stuff, girl. It be so much to do, but it's so rewarding once it's finished because once you go grocery shopping and you fill that bad boy up, it smells good. You have groceries. And for me, it just motivates me to, you know, leave DoorDash alone for a little bit and start cooking. So that's what I'm going to start off with doing. I'm going to start off with cleaning out the refrigerator, going in with some Method All Purpose Cleaner, going to spray that down. And then I'm gonna get ready to wipe it out really, really good. And you're also gonna see me cleaning out, like I said, the little storage food containers that come with the refrigerator. I love Dawn dish detergent as a cleaner. You're gonna see me use that a lot throughout the video. So yeah, all purpose cleaner, a little done. And that's pretty much all you need for a really good clean, unless you have your other favorite products. But yeah, that's what I do here. It's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm gonna be quiet and I'll come back in just a little bit. Okay, so now we're about to get into cleaning these cabinets. Lord, here go the workout, child. I'm trying to tell you. Going in with some done dish detergent, a little bit of pine salt, and that's gonna do it every time. Sometimes I add in a dishwasher pod every now and then, but I get some good hot water. I go through and spray, and we're gonna give these a good, good wipe down. Like I tell y'all in all the videos, if y'all could see the close up, I showed it in the last clean with me, you will be surprised. Them cabinets be dirty. Yeah. All right, babies, yeah. get up and let's get it. <laughs> and at this point, we are 25 minutes into the video. So listen, if you have not started cleaning at some point and turned on that music, 
Girl, what are you doing? I'm telling you, put on your favorite artist and you will be able to get it done. Because I know you probably tired just watching me do all of this cleaning. But trust me, your favorite song is going to get you through. Make sure you are wiping underneath those cabinets, underneath those countertops where our hands are food splashing. Just our hands touching them every day. Company coming over, opening up your cabinets, asking you, sis, where's this? Where's the forks? Where's the spoons? Where's the cup? We have to wipe down our cabinets, okay? And you know, lighter color cabinets can end up showing up dirty spots as well. Some people think, oh, lighter cabinets, you can't really see it. Girl, please. Yes, you can. Even on your dark cabinets, you can see them. I've had both, so I am speaking from experience. Trust me when I say wipe down those cabinets and it's gonna make you feel good as well. You're gonna burn some calories now. Trust me, you are, but we burn calories when we running upstairs to get in that bed after work every day or after the gym when we tired or when we wanna just be lazy. So go on, get up, clean up that kitchen, clean up that house, get it out the way, and then relax in your clean home and enjoy a good night rest on them fresh clean sheets. How about that? <laughs> go because I get questions all the time. Now, I don't really have an issue with trying to keep this clean. All I use is some Dawn dish detergent. I told y'all that I love that. I go in with some all-purpose cleaner and I use this little scrub thing that I got from Target and I give it a good scrub down. And then after that, I'm just gonna wipe it down with my cleaning towel and it works for me. Now, there is a stone that you can purchase that will get it clean very, very well. I will try to remember to link that below. Um, what's up, Bricky Baby Gang? I love y'all. But yeah, I will try my best to link it below. I heard it works great. I haven't had to really use it or purchase it, but I'm going to do my best to remember. And if I don't link it, y'all just tell me because y'all know how I can get it. I'm sorry. I love y'all, but I be forgetting everything that I need to link sometimes. It's bad too. Oh, you got the swag sauce, you drippin' swag goo. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, you got the swag sauce, you drippin' swag goo. Oh. I'm lazy, I'm ready. Now, my OGs, you already know what's up. If you're new here and you don't know about this product, girl, screenshot it and get you some. That Sprayway stainless steel cleaner is amazing. That's all I'm going to say. Your appliances in your kitchen are going to look so good. They're going to look brand new. Highly recommend. It's the best, hands down. 
I promise by it, this is not sponsored. I've never worked with them. I just know that product works good. I love it and I will forever have it in my collection of cleaning products. A must buy. Say what your name is. Oh yeah, that bitch girl. Tell me where you headed. Can I walk with you, girl? You got that look in your eyes that look like you give your boy here a good old time and I'm on it, girl. That's right, I'm on it, girl. See, this is the first time I had a girl whose look set me on fire. I'm really trying to get to know you better, girl. You ain't got to act like you're shy. Cause we gon' do something. Something is gon' get done. And we gon' get crunk. And have a lot of fun. And I say, oh, yeah, shawty. She wearing her hair. She working them jeans. She talking that pump just like, like, like I like it. She keep it on and poppin'. Shawty keep it on and You over it. She over it. <laughs> okay, okay. So y'all already know one thing about me is I'm going to have a time by myself. I be having no choice sometimes. Like I'm just a goofy person, but y'all, the way Layla <laughs> The way Layla be looking at me is insane. Like, she be like, what are you doing? Sometimes I think she be like, somebody please get me up out of here. I wish my grandparents would come get me, but you just got to love her. Like, I know y'all love y'all fur babies because I love mine, but who child? I wish she could talk because she probably would be like, will you please stop talking to that camera and turn that music down? But baby, mama got to get this house clean, so... As you guys can see, I'm going in cleaning out this sink because, listen, don't be don't be inviting me over to eat and you ain't cleaning out that sink because a lot of us like to season that meat in that sink. Y'all know that's how the country people do it. But you better be cleaning out that sink. Just like they say, you better not be in that toilet. You better be in that kitchen, though, cleaning out that sink. And please clean that toilet. <laughs> y'all so listen 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 because this is going to be quick i think the clip is quick i was on instagram and i love watching people reset on instagram and it was this guy reset in his house and girl he had made him up a little concoction like i just did and he had popped that ziploc bag on that faucet i said what tell me about it because that thing can go unnoticed when we're cleaning so you gotta let that sit a little bit trust me try it out let it sit, get all that bacteria that's sitting up there from that water that just be leaking sometimes and give that a fresh clean once you take it off and rinse it off. Well, I don't know how you're going to rinse. You know what I mean? It works. I like that little trick. So, you know, I had to share it with my babies. When I think about you, yeah, because girls is players too. Uh, yeah, yeah, because girls is players too. Uh -huh. And sometimes I don't know what Drake said on that song when he be like, mm -hmm. but he never lied when he said it don't never stop because baby, this cleaning don't never stop. That's why we got to make it fun and we got to do what we can when we can. And that's why this time I had to grab my other vacuum head and I had to vacuum these bar stools because y'all know in the past I will grab me a wet paper towel or just a wet cleaning towel and give them a good wipe down. But it was just too many crumbs this time. Like I said, I had just hosted an event 
and we use these on a daily we are always sitting right here eating dinner i barely touch the kitchen table so yeah i clean those pop those up on the counter and we're getting ready to vacuum and mop this floor yeah, And babies, let me tell y'all, can y'all believe me when I say the vacuum broke? She broke. I tried to fix a girl to spin brush don't spin no more but let me tell you I love that vacuum so much I'm gonna go get a new one but I had to do it the old school way I had to pull out that um that broom and sweep the carpet because she works on the hardwood but she don't work on carpet or rugs anymore so I will be getting a new vacuum so if you get the one that I got I still 10 for 10 highly recommend just make sure you are following the instructions and not being like Brooke Kennedy and make sure that you are for sure cleaning out your spin brush after you use your vacuum I'm gonna try to make sure I do that with my new one because I love her but I'm not trying to be spending over $100 every year and a half or two years. But honestly, I have had that vacuum for a while. I bought that vacuum about three years ago. So she's done a good, she's done a good run. But I feel like she should last longer than three years. So make sure you're following the directions. And oh yeah, as y'all see, we got to hit those baseboards sometimes. A lot of stuff is not recorded because I'm trying to get it all done. But you can always also use the other detachable vacuum head and use that to vacuum and pick up any dust and hair that's on your baseboards and then to save you some time and make things easier girl use your mop this is the old cedar one i love this one as well and while you're mopping also hit your baseboards because it's nothing like fresh clean baseboards as well it just looks so good and for me it just does something and y'all know we all hate that's probably the third thing we hate cleaning the toilet some of us hate cleaning out that refrigerator, but girl, getting on your knees and wiping down those baseboards, girl, please call the cleaning professionals in. Please get somebody else to do it because I'm going to find the easy way. And when I find the easy way, I'm going to share it with my brookie babies because I need y'all to do it the easy way. Okay? We're going to work smarter, not harder. To set me free. last thing that we're gonna hit for this clean with me spring edition is this sink we're gonna go in with our stainless steel cleaner and we're gonna give this a good wipe down give it a nice fresh shine and we're gonna enjoy our clean sink for about 24 hours because we're gonna wake up the next day and pour something down that sink whether it's coffee tea or something and then guess what like drake said it don't never stop we're gonna have to do it all over again <laughs> all right babe so that concludes our spring clean with me i really hope you all enjoyed this video i hope it gives you some motivation for the next time you are getting up whether that's on sunday for your resets or if you decide to clean in the middle of the week so again i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give your girl a thumbs up leave me a comment 
share the video and don't forget to hit that subscribe button join the bricky baby gang because the bricky babies are lit we have fun and if you subscribe you're gonna have some fun too i love you all so much and i'll see you in my next one bricky baby y'all ready bricky babies peace i love you guys Thank you.